Good morning, Crunch Crew. Crystal here. I um, hope you're doing really well this morning. So this morning we're going to do Cardio Thai Box. Now, Cardio Thai Box is a cardio boxing class, just like the name implies, with a few knees and kicks running for fun. However, normally we use this whole studio, the whole stage, move around a lot. And I realize a lot of you probably don't have this much square footage in your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, wherever you're doing this. So we're going to try keeping the movement a little minimized today. And then after today's video, I'm hoping those who are doing it can give us some feedback and let me know if you have enough space, was it okay, was it safe, could we make it bigger, or do we need to keep it the same for next week? Because we are planning on doing the exact same schedule we did this week, next week, and then we'll adjust and modify as needed. So, with that in mind, we are going to get going into our cardio tie box. This is going to be roughly three minute intervals of some boxing and kicking type things with about one minute intervals in between and today we're going to do some mock jump rope. You don't need a real jump rope. It's going to be our, our Wonder Woman invisible jump rope today. All right? So with that said, let's get going. Starting my timer, starting my music. All righty. Sorry, I need to turn on the right screen here. There we go. So, we're going to start off the simple position. Shoulders are rolled back nice and easy. Now, when you're boxing, I want you to imagine your target is right in front of you. If you've got a mirror handy, you'd be punching yourself in the mirror. All right, I know it sounds weird, but how it works. Chest up, core tight, little jabs. The way we jab, we punch out in front of us, knuckles out, wrist down. You punch out about a 95% range of motion. So we never walk all the way out. What that means, I don't want to see you do this, okay? It's not a superhero punch. We're just punching <clears throat> and then pulling right back in. The secret to a good punch is how quickly you pull back in the guard. And you do want to keep your core tight, your hips, your knees, and your ankles kind of loose. The whole look like a butterfly, sting like a bee kind of thing, all right? So these are our jabs. They're pretty basic. Now take it across our body, make it across. For our warm-up purposes, we're going to cross our body about 45 degrees. This corner, this corner. And you'll notice I'm pivoting that back foot. That back foot pivot is of utmost importance when you're boxing. You gotta release that heel, get your body into your punch. So these are our crosses. Next step, we gotta hook. Hook. Now when you're hooking, it's like you've got your opponent right in front of you. They've got their gloves up, right? Like this. And when you punch them, you're trying to reach around their gloves to hit them in the side of the face. Keep that in mind. So your knuckles are towards your opponent's face, wrists towards you. Those elbows are nice and high, and you can get that pivot through the heel, the hip, and the knee. Now our last punch is an uppercut. It comes up from underneath. So this punch, you gotta come up a little bit. Your legs have the power to the uppercut. Again, visualize your opponent. They're in front of you. Now you're trying to get under their gloves, hit their body, or hit them with a the chin. Whichever you want to visualize, they're better for you. Now give me a little bottom lead. So those are our basic punches. Jabs, cross, hook, and uppercut, all right? So we're going to take those same punches and do them a little bit together, okay? I want you to turn to the side. We're going to do a jab, which is the front arm, cross to the back arm. Jab, cross. All right, same thing on the other side. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. You got it? We're going to have targets in front of us and to the side. But for now, our first jump rope segment. Get your invisible jump rope and just a little light shuffle down below. This is called a boxer shuffle. I'm just kind of shuffling side to side, lightly from foot to foot. I'm holding my invisible jump rope with my relaxed arms, nice and tall. If you don't want to jump, you can always march in place and do the jump rope mark. Okay, that's always an option. We're trying to give you a different option each time we go through today. And if you don't like the other options, you can always come back to the basic shuffle or the basic march. It's up to you. All right? 
So again, we're going to try to move a little bit. If you don't have enough space, you'll keep it small. All right, so imagine I've got my board over here. All I'm going to do is going to shuffle forward, jab, cross. Shuffle back, hook, hook. Hook, hook. Shuffle forward, jab, cross. Shuffle back, hook, hook. Don't want to shuffle? You can always take a few steps, right? You don't have to shuffle. I imagine Chuck Norris never shuffled into a fight. And I'm pretty sure he won most of the fights he was in. It's up to you. Shuffle, jab, cross. Shuffle back, hook, hook. Dig it. Dig it. Jab, cross. Picture your target. One more time. Now center it up, give the effort cuts up right here. For that same series, other side. So this time, shuffle to the right. Jab and cross. Back it up. Hook, hook. Shuffle. One, two, three. Jab, cross. One, two, three. Hook, hook. You'll notice. In between my punches, I'm keeping my arms up to guard. Because after all, not going to do much good boxing with somebody unless you can guard and protect yourself. Jab, cross. Hook, hook. Okay. One more time. Right here, center up with that. Get the idea? I hope you have enough room to move and not run into your couch or a chair or an end table with some pictures. Hopefully it works out just fine. Here's four, three, little bob and weave right here. Now on your bob and weave, I don't want you to just come up here and do this, okay? If you can, get down low. Imagine someone's right above you, and they're gonna punch, punch. You gotta dip down and avoid their punch, okay? So you get low in those legs. Looks a little bit like a squat, but it's really about the weak. Arms up to guard, core is tight. Picture your opponent. Maybe it's somebody sponsored by the rear corona, you never know. I want your core engaged right here. Four, three, there we go. Back to our jump rope. Option two, got our little shuffle, ground a little kick out in front. Now here's a nice thing about these invisible jump ropes. We are much better jumping rope with the invisible jump rope than we are at the real jump rope, right? Because you notice I haven't messed up once yet. The rope hasn't kicked me, I haven't stepped on it. I'm like a master jump roper with this invisible jump rope. Halfway there. Heck, if I want to, I can do fancy side to side figure eights and pull right back into it. We're that good, kids. Almost there. Hopefully, you're warmed up enough. We can start our lower body movements. Are you warm enough? That's your answer, yes, right? All right, going on, we're gonna stay forward right here. We've got knees. Knee, just this leg, knee. On our knee strike, this one is like you're grabbing somebody behind their neck, pulling that knee up, hit them in the sternum. Two more. Same thing, other leg, pull. Pull, pull. So right now we're fighting somebody kind of short, right? Maybe it's like a sixth grader who made fun of our kid. Pull, 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 pull. And again, I wouldn't really do this, right? The imaginary, that's what you do in your mind. Back to our first leg. This time we're going to pull down a basketball player. Pull, 
reach, pull, reach, pull, pull, one more, switch sides, this is not a bouncy cardio knee, this is a knee strike, reach and grab, pull and down, first side, three, two, one, switch, three, two, one, again, we're not bouncing, we're pulling, making sure whoever we're fighting is getting the message. Again, three, two, one, three, two, stop right there. Those are our knee strikes. Option, now we're gonna go to our kicks, our knee preps for our kick. Now a knee prep for a kick, we lean back a little bit, away from our opponent, because we're gonna kick that foot, we're gonna kick it out, and kick our opponent. Somewhere between the knees and the chest. We kick, kick. I'm doing a push kick right now. My foot is flexed, heel is out, face knee bent, kicking that opponent away. All right, switch legs. This is a chamber technically for our front kick. The knee comes up, chest is up, core is tight, arms are ever needed to maintain your balance. Now same thing here, that push. Push, push. Now how high is up to you? You might be kicking their shin, their thigh, their hip, somewhere in their torso. All right, hold it here. Are you getting that? That's our front kick. We got knee strikes now and our knee chamber for our front kicks. All good? All right, now we're gonna work something different. Our knee to the side. This is a chamber for our side kick. The knee's coming up toward my midline, foot is flex. Same thing, other side. Pull, pull. So we'll snoop side kicks, next round. Three more, then we'll jump rope. All right, this time our jump rope, you can pick our little shuffle, our little kick in front, or if you want, go to a little skier. That means both feet are down on those toes, nice and light. This doesn't have to be huge, right? This is a small, tall movement. Don't like the skier? Go back to one of our previous options. But I know what, the shoulders back, chest up. Again, thinking light, quick thoughts. This is that butterfly part of our boxing. Light, quick, and pretty. We don't look fierce. Maybe. Maybe you do. Almost there. All right. Jump up away. We're working those side chambers, right? We're working our side kick. Our side kick, you know, if my base leg is turned out, the knee comes up. I'm going to show you. It's chamber, kick, chamber, reset. Chamber, kick, chamber. Chamber. Reach chamber, reset. Going a little faster. Kick. Kick. Begin by pulling that foot up, that little knee pull. Return that chamber when we're done. Give me four more here. Four. Three. Two. One. Easy. Hopefully you felt that on that side. We'll even up other side, okay? Right here. Just the chamber. Get that knee up. Face foot turned out, knee tracking those toes, leaning away just enough. Now that slow side kick. Up, out, in. Again, up, out, in. You lose your balance, you find it. What I want is the side of that foot up. You have a target to the side. You're putting a footprint on that side. Okay, one more slow. Let's go tempo. Kick. Kick. Again, height, up to you. Low, medium, high, wherever you can kick. And bring it down. All right, so now lower body warmed up? Maybe, hopefully. Let's try shuffling with some side kicks. One, two, three, side kick. One, two, three, side kick. 
Always the outside leg, the kicks, always the outside arm, the punches first. Again, one, two, three, step, side kick. Yes, let's add some punches. One, two, three, side kick. One, two, three, side kick. One, two, three. Hold right here. Whew. Get this side of the body warmed up, hopefully. I hope that's true. Upper cut. Bob and weave. And just like that, jump rope again. To review, our basic shuffle, our little kick in front, our little skier, a fourth option for you. Give me mini jacks. Out, in, out, in. Mini jacks. The guts in the side are invisible rope. Halfway. Don't want to jump? You can do this, right? You've got ways to modify. Work with what you got. Maybe you're on a tricky spot in your floor. The jumping doesn't sound good. And take it down. Just keep moving. Just like that. Woo. We're 20 minutes down. Not bad, we're doing pretty good. All right, next up, you wanna hit the same punches? I'm gonna stay facing this time. Put one leg in front, front arm, jab, back arm, cross. Jab, cross. Notice when I cross, my back heel pivots so I can reach forward across my body to hit my target. Hold it right here, front knee, knee, knee. That knee so I did earlier. Now take this, make it three knees, three, two, and then one kick. Can you do that? Let's try it again. Three, two, one, kick. Pull it. Try it again. Three, two, one, kick. One more time. Three, two, one, kick. Yes? Let's put those together. I want a jab, cross, knee, kick. Jab, cross, knee, kick. Jab, cross, knee, kick. Jab, cross, knee, kick. Again, again. on the other side. The same thing, other leg in front. Jab, cross, jab, cross. You notice on my punches, reach forward, shoulder high, on that cross, pivot that back leg across the body, strong. Pull back into guard. You got it? Are you visualizing your target? I hope you are. Because if you can't visualize it, you can't hit it, right? One more. All right, right here. Knee, 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 nice and strong. Now it's gonna be three. Three, two, one, kick. Yes? Try that again. Three, two, one, kick. And we'll reset. Again, three, two, one, kick. Reset. One more time. Put those together, one of each. Here we go. Jab, cross, 
knee, kick, jab, cross, knee, kick, jab, cross, knee, kick, jab, cross, knee, kick. Good, again. Three more. Two. Getting ready to jump rope again. There we go. You pick. Option one, shuffle. Option two, little kick. What was option three? That's right, that little skier. Lighten those toes. Option four, little jack. Wanna make these little jacks a little fancier? How about jack and cross? Jack, cross, 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 cross. Don't drop your rope.
minutes, right? Center it up. Right here, this punch. This is our little burner at the end, okay? Right now, just easy jab center, hitting your target. Core is tight, shoulders low. Hips kind of soft, knees soft. Those feet kind of walking out. To the corners, cross it. And again, to the target crosses, not full crosses. That 45 degrees. I want you to focus on that core nice and tight. Feel that core work in the middle. Back to the hooks. Hook, hook. These are keep slow and strong. We did them fast to be a feedback. Not today. Today is for that center hook. Elbow high, knuckle to your opponent. Pull it in quick. Eight more. Four, three, uppercuts. Coming right in your opponent, pull right back into guard. Now these, we can go faster. Are you ready? Let's flurry. So imagine you're reaching out, make sure it's away from you. You should be a few inches from your face. You're hitting their body, make hitting them in the bread basket, right? Knuckles out, hit, 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 hit. Core feeling this? Bicep starting to feel this? Hopefully this, yes and yes. Four, three, two, jab. Four, three, take it across. Core is tight, come on. Feel that rib cage pull it in. Those hooks strong, ooh, ooh. I want that power. Four, three, uppercut strong. Eight, seven. Stay here, uppercut flurry. Come on, keep the core engaged. A strong core makes a strong fire. Just bob and weave. Woo! Nice job, everybody. Good, cool it down. Go ahead and bring on up. Roll the shoulders back. I like to end my workout with a little shadow boxing. So you take your muscles and some memory for next time. So now easy, give me simple jabs. Jab. These are super slow motion, soft. Take it across. Think about your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder. Where does everything line up? The core is still strong. Think about your foundation. What are your feet and your knees doing? Give me slow hooks. Four more. Three, two, easy uppercuts. Easy, up, up, up. Teach your muscles what we're doing. So we'll have a set for next week. All right, right here, give me a deep breath up. Pull down wide, open, show off those guns. Release, again. Pull wide, look at those. They look good. One more time, pull it open. All right, take one leg back. Easy calf stretch. Press that heel all the way down. Your feet should be lined up like they're in cross country skis. That back heel straight lined up with your leg. Get that pulse calf stretch. Back leg, lift the heel, drop the knee, down, push those hips forward, open up the hip flexors, give you a deep breath up. Same side, little tricep stretch. And then release. Same thing, other leg. Straight back in the calf. With all that jumping rope, all that little bit of cardio, it tweaks and works the calf in the lower leg, yes? So get that nice, strong calf stretch. And then lift the back heel up. Bend the knee. Drop it down. Hips slightly forward. Give me a deep breath up. Nice and tall. Add the tricep. The whole side is opening up. Almost there. Release, take one leg, heel forward, hip pin with a nice long, tall spine. Think about tilting your tailbone up behind you, maximizing the length in the back of that leg from the heel to the hip. Chest is lifted, core is nice and engaged. We pretty much always engage our core, right? Plant and roll, same thing, other side. Hip, heel, hinge. Keep the chest nice and strong, hands on at the 
working leg, so we're not pushing on the stretching leg. Again, think about lifting that hip up behind the hip, actively lengthening the back of this leg. Planting around. All right, a little back stretch, bring it down. Round, release, and again, round it. Release, this time roll all the way up. Roll it back. Give me one more deep breath up. Big back bend. Move your arms up. It's like your Rocky fit the fight you just won. Great job, everybody. Thanks for joining me this morning for Cardio Thai Box. And again, if you were watching the video, give us feedback in the next day or two. Let us know if you have enough space. Can we move more? Do you have space for those kicks? If so, make it a little bigger, a little more movement next week. Until then, have a great day.